Hello, people. Hello, guys. The RGH back. Been a few days, I think, since uh, my last video, but I'm back uh, to talk some to talk some some NBA this time. <clears throat> talk about my, and if you support them too, your mighty Lakers, the mighty Los Angeles Lakers, and these fantastic um, these fantastic playoffs, uh, as it has been thus thus far. I've really enjoyed it. But when, anyway, we're here to talk about the situation that we're the, the glorious situation that we find ourselves in. Um, meaning, that me as a Lakers fan, being in a three-one, three-one scenario. So, the game tonight could be the, the closing game, right? We could win it, become the, uh, the the Western Conference, Western Conference champs. You know, win the West and uh, get ready to see who's going to who, who the opponent will be. Whether that will be Miami or Boston. Um, Miami, I'll tell you what though as well, that Miami Heat, the Miami have really surprised me, really surprised me how, how well they played. I knew they had a good team, uh, I knew they had a good team and uh, the, the kid heroes playing great as well and, and obviously they have Jimmy Butler and diff different pieces, you know, different pieces and uh, they, they surprised me how, how, well they've, how well they played but they are a good team. Will they win the East? Will they become... Eastern Conference champs. Uh, who knows? We wait and see. Um, we wait and see. But it's, I'm excited for tonight. But that's for sure. That's for sure. To see um, if we can, you know, we can get through. You know, beat them rather than having to play another game and being a three-two scenario or what, which which is what the the Heat find themselves in with with Boston. Um, but I'm really proud of the really proud of the, the guys. You know. Like I've said before on, uh, on another video of mine, that these these Lakers, this is a fan, fantastic team, unbelievable unbelievable roster. From top to bottom, I'm just impressed. With, I'm just so pleased to have th that we have this team. I've been waiting to have a team like this for, for many years, and I think that we are going to win the title. I really do believe that. You know, I can say with my hand on my heart that I truly believe that the, the we are going to be NBA champions, and I'll be boy. Boy, I'll be celebrating then, let me tell you. <laughs> Boy, will I be celebrating. You know, um, it's been a wonderful job. The NBA have done a wonderful, wonderful job considering the, the, the you know, the, the situation that the planet is in, um, how difficult it's been to, to make it happen. It hasn't been easy by any, by any stretch. It's not been an easy thing to do, but the NBA have done it again. They always do. You know, they adapt. The NBA is very good at adapting to whatever whatever situation they you know whatever situation they find themselves in so uh, i hope you i hope you agree with that if you're a fan of the nba and i mean if you, you you know if you're watching this video i'm pretty sure that you are a fan of the nba otherwise I, I don't know why you'd be watching this video but you know um a lot of surprises though, a lot of surpri I, I, you know in the beginning i really picked uh, i really picked milwaukee to to win the east um and of, of course i picked uh, my lakers to win the west but it's turn, turning out quite differently. Obviously, we're you know we're looking like we're going to be uh, Western Conference champions. Like I say, you can't take anything you you can't take anything for granted. Though it's, it sounds easy to say, yeah, we're going to win tonight, and you know I think I hope so. Boy, I hope so. But don't take anything for granted. I never. I ne that's one thing about me, right? I don't take anything for granted. Never ever take. I don't take anything for granted. And, guarantees you know because there, there is no guarantees in sports man there's no you know, we all know this right we all know this but i think it's you know as long as we as long as we can keep this group keep this group together maybe like i say i'd love to add add another piece or you know but keep keep this 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 group of, of really really done great really done you know i'm so proud of the boys so proud of course me being a lakers fan forever but you know, be waiting such a long time to get back to, to to glory to where we should be. You know, we are the Los Angeles Lakers. Enough said on that, right? We are the we are the shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? We should be on top. We should be on top, and which we find ourselves now. But you know, who who have you got? Who do you think? What do you think will happen? Will Miami win the East? Will we win the West? You know, I'm pretty. Like I say, I'm pretty sure that we're gonna win the West. You know, I, I don't I, I, unless it, you know something drastically goes wrong. Which I, I can't see happening, especially with, uh, of course, LeBron James being the floor general that he is, being the passer that he is, and the player that he is, you know. But who, who you got? Have you been impressed with the with Miami's 
the way that Miami's bowled? Have you been impressed with them? I certainly have. I've certainly been impressed with, with, with the Miami Heat and, you know, spoke about it before, but, uh, you know, Eric Spolstra is a, is a hell of a coach. Hell of a coach, you know, he's been doing it for a minute now and uh, done very well for himself, as, as I've said previously, but... Uh, well, let's, let's go through it. I mean, about LeBron too much because we all know what LeBron does. We all know what LeBron brings every night, right? But uh, the rest of the team, like I say, have stepped up and Anthony Davis has shown how unstoppable he can be because he really is. Let, let me tell you, boy. Let me tell you. Anthony Davis at that, that, the five spot, whether you, whether you put him at the five spot or the four, he's, he's definitely one of the best at the position. As far as I'm concerned, he really is. He, he's, you know, when I watch him play, I'm, I'm just so impressed with what he does. Uh, Dwight's, you know, the last few games has, has, has managed to, you know, get some minutes, and you know, Dwight is Dwight has still got some, you know, Dwight Howard is still he's not he's not the player that he was, right? But he's still he's still he's still very athletic, especially for a big man. I mean, you remember as well. I mean, this is going back. I'm talking about years ago now, of course, but um, but Dwight Howard was in the dunk competition, right? In fact, didn't he win it? Uh, I'm trying to rec recall. Um, yeah, he was in the dunk. I remember watching him in the dunk competition, but I, I can't recall right now if he. I, I'm, I think he did win it. I remember he did the uh, the Superman, the Superman, uh, the Superman dunk mm -hmm. with a cape on. You remember that? He had like uh, the Superman cape on, and I remember uh, Shaq wasn't too happy because obviously Shaq. Uh, you remember Shaq kind of took that whole, you know, he was the first to take the Superman, the Superman uh, name, you know, and, and run with, run with the, the, you know, the being called Superman. Shaq was the original. Remember, Shaq wasn't too happy about that, but uh, I think he did win it though, right? That was when he had crazy athleticism. I mean, Dwight then was, was super, super athletic. But the point I'm trying to make is that he still is, you know. He's still very athletic if you watch what he does on the floor and block shots and rebounds well and uh, still dunks the ball extremely well, all that, all that kind of stuff, you know. But uh, so I, I gotta give him, I gotta give him his props. And of course, you got the young guys as well. You've got Caruso, and I'm really, really impressed with him and uh, Kuzma. You know, Kyle Kuzma, really impressed with him. He's, he's, he's coming on great. But there's a lot of, you know, the, the, that's why the thing is when you look at someone like the uh, our, our, our biggest rival. The Boston Celtics. If you look at Boston, they're, they're a young, very talented team. You know, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, and, and and you know they they they're they're a young team, but they're very they were very well coached, of course, by Brad Stevens. But they're a very very uh, a very high energy team, is what I'm trying to say here. You know, uh, Boston or Boston Celtics, they, they're very high. You know, have high energy and they can run like deers can the can the Celtics. So. What a, I mean, what a what a you know what a final that would be though, right? Between the, our greatest rival, the greatest right, one of the greatest rival rivalries in sports, that without without a shadow of a doubt. Um, you know, being a being a rival of ours for years has, has the Boston Celtics, but I mean, what a what a you know what a best of seven that would be. But again, there's no guarantees. Miami could win it. Miami could could really win it. I've been super impressed with them and uh, Dragic as well. I think Dragic is a fantastic point guard. I really do. I really rate him very highly. Uh, he's proved he's proved it. You know, I think he if I is right uh, in the Phoenix when he was with the Phoenix Suns. Uh, I believe that he learned from Steve Nash. You know, he learned a lot from Steve Nash and talked a lot with Steve Nash. And and, and it shows. You know, when you watch him play and the, uh, what he can do on the floor and, and, and passing and all that stuff. You know, good great shooter as well. Shoots the three well and all that kind of stuff. But I'm pretty sure that he learned uh, from 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 Steve Nash. Being you know when he was it when they were both at the Phoenix Suns and. Watching, uh, watching some behind the scenes stuff at the at the time, behind the scenes. Um, in fact, I had a DVD. Uh, it was a, a DVD, of, you know, just different, you know, uh, coaching sessions and, and, and practice sessions and things of that nature. And um, I remember Steve Nash, you know, talking a lot with with Dragic and going through drills. And so, it, it, but it's hey, it's paid off. It shows it really does. Um, you know how good Dragic is, has became, but. Yeah, so the Heat, yeah, they, they could they could very well win the East. They could very well win the East. Uh, there's no way I do. I just don't. When you flip over to the West, there's just no way I, I can see Denver coming back from a three-one scenario. But they, listen, they, they've done it twice, right? Have have the Nuggets, 
they've came back from 3-1 twice uh, this this uh, during these playoffs which is quite phenomenal quite phenomenal if you think about it because it's uh, in, to my knowledge I don't have that been I don't think that's ever been done before um, correct me if I'm wrong but I don't think anybody's came back in the playoffs from 3-1 uh, certainly not came back twice from doing it uh, two times which the nuggets the nuggets have done which is very very impressive very impressive so I've loved it though, right? I've loved it. I hope you guys have too. You know, if you've been watching, uh, I, I watch every game. You know, I'm, I, I am a, you know, fan stands for, or is short for fanatic, right? And I am that when it comes to the NBA. I watch every regular season. You know, I watch all the playoffs. You know, um, but this one being ultra, you know, much more, um, much more exciting and much more enjoyable for me because we are, you know, top top of the West and and, and you know had the had the best record regular season record and, and obviously doing fantastic in the playoffs so it's more special is uh, what I'm trying to say this one this one is more special uh, it's really really special really special um, you know you know how it is right whatever team you support whether you're a, a football fan an NFL fan or whatever you know you're, you're like, you know, whatever team you support or a Los Angeles Kings fan you know how it is right when your team makes the playoffs and is in, you know looking like they're heading looking like they're heading for the finals there's nothing like that you know as, as, as a fan it's it's uh you know, it's what you watch for, right? It's what you, what you, you know, me, I, I mean, I play basketball and stuff and it's what I play for. I always think about that, you know, I always think about my team even when I'm playing. I'm, you know, thinking about how a certain player does this or how Le, how does LeBron work out and what, what drills does he do and I try and, you know, kind of imitate that and, and do it. You know, obviously I'm not at the level that they're, nowhere near that, that level, of course, but, you know, you get what I'm trying to say. You know, it's uh, the reason I play, the reason I uh, work out, the reason I do all that stuff, but... Um, you know, you guys know now. If you follow my channel long enough, you know you know what I'm all about, right? I'm all about. I haven't dropped any tennis stuff yet because I do, uh, I do enjoy playing tennis, and I'm a big, big, you know, a big tennis head. You know, I love love watching tennis. I watch all the tennis tournaments, so I need to make some videos on that, and I'll also be be bringing that soon as well. Be bringing you some tennis, uh, something a bit different. Bring you some tennis. <clears throat> I mean, um, somebody told me like, somebody was saying to me, um, oh, "Are you going to cover tennis as well?" Like. To stick to boxing and I don't want to just stick to you know I'm passionate I'm pa if I'm passionate about something right I want to make videos on it I want to make videos about it if I'm passionate about it if I have knowledge on the subject then I, that's what I you know that's what I want to do that's the whole point of this channel so I'm not going to you know stick to one thing I want to stick to what I what, what I have knowledge on what I won't do is I won't talk about something that I, I don't that I know nothing about I won't do that I'm not the type of person that's going to try and get views and and things on on just talking about stuff that I have no clue on or I, I, I will never do that because I'm not going to, if I don't know about the subject, like for example, um, let's think like a sport like baseball, you know, I don't know anything about baseball, so I would never drop a baseball video because I don't know anything about the sport, so that would be pointless in me dropping that video because, I, you know, I have no knowledge on it, you know, I, I don't watch baseball, you know, admittedly I don't, so I'll stick to what I, what I like and I will be dropping some, some, uh, some more sports stuff and... Uh, but yeah, let's go Lakers, man. You know, uh, every, uh, my recent NBA videos has, has, has been the same kind of thing. You know, just giving, just encouraging the encouraging the guys, and, and just uh, just saying I'll be on the edge of my seat from every every made shot, every missed shot tonight. Uh, I'll be celebrating if they do win the West, which uh, you know I, I'm, I'm begging, you know I'm hoping and begging that they do do it tonight because uh, you know I, I do. I, I love the team. I love the team dearly. You know, I love the team dearly, like like a like a like a life partner or something. You know what I mean? That's how it is. You know. That's how it is for me. Uh, but again, who, who have you got? I'd love to hear, you know, you, you feel free to drop comments and stuff, you know. Uh, uh, you know, go ahead, comment, and, and just, uh, I want to, you know, have a discussion and saying who who do you think will win and who, who do you see playing in the finals, who do you think it will be? Uh, you know, th those sorts of things. And uh, I'll be dropping some more videos a bit later on as well. There'll be some more boxing stuff coming uh, a little bit later on. Just have to do this video and stuff and then, have a few things to do and I'll be right back at it. Uh, you know, yeah, I love chopping it, chopping it, chopping it up with you guys. And, you know, I enjoy, I enjoy doing this. Uh, of course, I, if I didn't enjoy it. And another thing about me, if I don't enjoy something, I don't do it. You know, I'm that type of guy. If I don't enjoy it, I just don't do it. So I, I do this because I've, I've, I have the passion and I really enjoy doing these videos. Uh, they're a lot of fun to do. They really are. But, um, but yeah, you know, let's, let's, let's really... Let, let's bring it home. Let's bring the championship. Let's bring the chip home, which I really think it's. This is, you know, I'm pretty certain this is our year. Uh, I'd love it to be Boston. Uh, I really would. I think it'll be ultra competitive, best of seven against Boston.
but uh, they have a long way to go. You know, they have to they have to claw claw and bring you know claw their way back to um, to you know make, getting a win. You know, getting a win. It's it's uh, three two right now in Miami's favor, right? And then over on the west, of course, it's three one to uh, the mighty Los Angeles Lakers. So exciting times, really exciting times. Uh, I'm gonna miss it. I always do. The thing is about when the you know when the NBA season finishes, I really do. I miss it immediately. Like I miss it immediately. But that's the good thing about uh, you know it's always good to be into different sports, in my opinion. Because when one ends, you can watch another. You know when when one season ends, another begins. You know so it's 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 a good thing to to get into uh, different sports. I'm 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 pleased in a way. I'm pleased that I'm not just a, a fan of let's say just an NBA fan and don't like any other sport. You know because then once that's gone, you know you you. you, you you know you're lost on the on the evenings and things of that nature so um but yeah let's go you know just wanted to drop this one let's go lakers let's go la lakers the best best team in the league is the los angeles lakers best sports team in the world yeah very well very well could be very well could, could be certainly one of the best run teams in the world certainly one of the richest clubs in the world the great the mighty los angeles lakers thanks for listening guys